Well, good morning, boys and girls. Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. From a beautiful spot. I'm up in northern Arkansas, and I'm, I stayed in Harrison last night with some family. We're driving over to Bass Cat, and I blocked out a couple of hours and just thought I'm going to stop at the first place that says access. So I am at Crooked Creek Water Trail. I truly have no idea where I am. But uh, it's the snow access. Got a couple of guys down here fishing as well. I stopped last night, bought me some fancy water shoes at the Walmart, bought me some very basic tackle, bought me a chesty. I've never worn a chesty before. And uh, I'm going to go check it out. Hopefully, not fall down in the river. So here we go. Got you. Don't know what you are, but I got you. Oh yeah, Mr. Goggle Eye. Who doesn't love him a Goggle Eye? Man, I've caught so many of those as a kid. Oh, that damn it! He survived it. He's out of here. It just proves to you what a redneck I am. I just like catching fish, man. He come right off that little old rock right over there. Whacked it. Whoa. Oh, wham, another goggle eye. And whacked it. Ooh, he's mad. Goggle eye. On the rooster tail. What a dandy. How pretty is that? Dunk. I tell you what, if goggle eye grew to four feet long, you couldn't go swimming in these waters. There, tough little dudes. Another one on the follow right there. So by the way, that's a, that's a little loose rod. It's called a shaky head special. It's a seven footer. Oh, this particular one is a uh, fast action medium action fast tip perfect for this kind of stuff and i got it paired on 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon tied to a six pound leader and i use this stuff right here for my leader i'm sorry eight pound the gold label that's good stuff right there Good stuff right there. Last cast right here. We're going to move on. Uh oh, boom. Way over there. It's going to be another goggle eye. Just a perch. Uh oh, dad gum it. Splash, 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 and away he goes. Leave our tackle box right there. All right, let's go. Oh, smoked it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got a little smallmouth. How beautiful. Check him out. Very, very nice. I know y'all are watching me catch six inch fish, but it is fun. I just love doing this. Look at the color on that little guy. Very, very pretty on a little 16th ounce. Thanks, brother. Go tell mama to bite for me. He wrecked it. He said, give me some of that rooster tail, mister. See if there's a wolf pack of them up there. I can see bottom where I caught that fish. But I will. If I have to. Oh, snake, snake, snake. Snake right there under that rock. I ain't going that way. 
He can have it. Woo! I don't like seeing those things in the water. Woo! Mr. Snake can have that spot. Mr. Snake, you gave me the willies. There's Mr. Snake right there, you see him? That's not a moccasin though. He ain't got a triangular head, but he's for sure snake. And as I said in an article once, even non-poisonous snake bites hurt. I don't know if y'all can see him down the water. He's right there, just creeping around. Ooh, that gives me the willies. There he come up again. You see him right yonder. He's like, dude, why are you crowding me? Just chilling in my own river. What are you doing down here messing with my groove? Access. Old, old, old train bridge. Little creek down there. It's dried up. I think that's gonna be one that flows into the big creek though. We'll check it out up here and see what comes off. I helped funded it. I paid my $16 three-day fishing license fee for out of state in Arkansas. Man, this is so much like what I grew up fishing around in Little Rock. Oh, Foosh Creek. Right outside of Meta Cliff, for those of y'all who know Little Rock. And we were doing exactly what I'm doing today. We fished for anything that would bite. Nobody cared. I saw a buddy of mine catch a, what we thought was probably a 20-pound bass. It was probably a three-pounder in hindsight, but I remember how big that fish seemed to us. And I was casting to him with a plastic worm and my buddy threw a minute in there and I was so mad at my buddy for throwing that live bait in there. But the fish was pretty smart. It might have been a four pounder. It was a big, great big fish for a 12 year old that was walking Banks Creek fishing. But nonetheless, we'll try down here below this, see if there's anything setting up. I can see stuff out in the water. I just don't know what they are. Ooh, that a little snake. Look out, little snake. Another little snake there. He was trying to get away from me as fast as I was trying to get away from him, though. All right, we got one more little rapid. We've walked about a, a mile down from that access and see if there's anything around this rapid water i'd love to catch one nice little small mouth down here i'd love to catch 50 of them but i'd love to catch one somebody's eating somebody right there let's check it out that looks like a little small mouth right there what are you doing chief that's a little small. I saw a hill. I spooked a little. Yeah, that is definitely a little small. There we go. I saw him and I caught him. Or I ain't caught him yet, but I saw him and I got him to bite. Awesome. Makes the trip worth it right there. Look at that pretty guy. Look at that pretty guy. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, man. You were awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm pretty sure that's the fish I saw cruise and run away from me. That was pretty cool. 
you know, that first stop, spot I stopped on, I just fished it with my regular glasses on. And uh, when I stopped at this one, I went ahead and put my prescription water lens on. And boy, it makes a huge difference being able to see down in this water. I never would have seen that fish. I think that's one of those shed, but I just saw something else flash over there. I think it makes all the difference in the world to be able to see these fish. See what you're walking to, see the snakes, the whole schmear. So what you got is it's just real flat. You see the flat rock and shallow, shallow, and then there's just a little channel right there. It goes from about, that's ankle deep, that's knee deep, and that's probably waist deep right there. And that fish was right at the bottom of that waist deep water. Then washed out over the centuries, water rolling through there. Ozark Mountain spring water washing through there. And I should put some sunscreen on. Yeah, I thought I'd get bit right there. Get up right above those rapids. Ooh, that one got it. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, that's <laughs> like a little good. Oh, he is fighting that current. He said, get a, oh, he's got a buddy with him. His buddy's like, what are you doing? Fool, come with me. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, he's got two buddies with him. They like being right at the top of those rapids. He had two buddies with him. I'm gonna see if I can catch one of the other ones. There he went. So see ya. I want to fish that little pool right over there. I think that's a spot I might catch with one. If I can get over there without busting my butt and busting a camera. That's pretty right there. Look at the color on that guy, holy cow. He's beautiful. Shoo, away he goes. That's a deep pool, I'll probably call her up there. Oh, he's going to bust my butt going through this stuff. I'm going through the mouth. I will go to that corner right there. He wrecked it up there in that back corner. This is why I carry those right there. 
those little bitty hooks get down in there. And they're really hard to pop out. He's okay. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm gonna show y'all where I am up here on this map. So uh, in this case, I'll show you the sign over there in a minute. So I'm at the Mark Oliver Access. So you see, I'm right here. Okay. Uh, I put in the time before Well, I'm actually not sure where the first one was I'm a little confused. Oh, I was right here So I came to snow access I came back out and hit 62 came down here and I came to, to this access right here And what you saw is so where I caught all those fish is right there where it next down That's about a half a mile down the river and You can see all these little places where that thing splits off those little necks that's the place where those little smallmouth are piled up so there's a bunch of places up here where you can uh where you can rent canoes and kayaks as you can see right there in the picture so what i would say is if you get somebody and, and what these guys will do for you i've never done it i'd love to do it when the boys are a little older is you can rent them and they'll drop you off and then they'll pick you up down the river i guess i'm going the wrong way no that's right going down the river uh and that way you know you don't really have to put much effort i mean literally you saw there's a two or three mile an hour current down there so you could just put in float the river and from what i saw every fish we caught was in right at the above the rapids of course that water's a lot cooler where it picks up speed where it necks down but uh what i would do is i would get one of those guys to draw me or bring my own kayak or canoe and float it and every time i got right above one of those rapids just pull it up on the bank and fish enjoy myself get back in it float a little further down the river and uh that's that's a lot of fun you saw my setup so i went to walmart this morning and i bought i had a bag of senkos with me and i bought a pop R, and i bought a handful of rooster tails matter of fact i never even had to get in these are actually blue foxes and i bought a couple of meps and I, I stayed with the same bait the whole time and from growing up doing this there's three ways you're gonna catch them, either in the deep pools, which is why I brought the Senko and the Pop R, especially if they're in the shadows or in the moving water. And I had no idea they were in the moving water. And man, you just can't beat that little rooster tail. A beetle spin would probably do the same thing. So that was fun. That That's something I hadn't done since I was a little kid. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if I can maybe do it again Tuesday morning or maybe really early tomorrow morning before we get started at Bass Cat. So. If I do, I'll film it. If not, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it brought back memories for you guys, too, of fishing as a kid. And if you're a kid, it's a great way to learn how to catch fish. So much fun. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you all soon.